Hello everyone and welcome back to another monthly favourites video. It's a bit funny because I wanted to start making them again in February but I received so many requests that I decided to make one today with my December favourites especially because we have the worst weather outside. It's very windy and rainy so I took this opportunity to film. Okay, let's start. I actually get so many requests about the shoes I'm wearing and most of you know by now that Jörg and I are always out and about on weekends so I have to wear flat and comfy shoes yet fashionable and a bit quirky and traditional and I really really love wearing brogues. So many people ask me where I get them and I think some of you saw a video from last year, well I forgot it's 2020 so from I think from the end of 2018 where I wear and show you broke boots that I got from one of my favourite shops and brands, Cordings of Piccadilly and this is where I also got these wonderful brogues, suede and leather brogues and I just checked this morning, they are currently on sale for I think 40% less and just check if you want brogues and um, they may, might have your size still available. They are amazing quality, of course very comfortable, made in Spain which is a huge plus for me and I wear them with everything. I wear them with, with skirts, dresses, trousers and I plan on filming a video about my style next weekend, hopefully. Fingers crossed that the weather will be okay. Uh, I want to show you what I wear, how I combine things, how I found my style basically. And where well, this is one of the things I absolutely adore. I don't know, it's quite simple. Whenever I plan my outfits, I... I wear the same shoes, I wear brogues, I wear my brogue boots and this is what you need, you, do, you maybe need a, a four or five pairs of shoes that go with everything, you don't need hundreds or fifty or sixty pairs, I, I find it ridiculous to be honest, so in case you're interested in brogues, check these ones out, they are absolutely beautiful. The next thing I have for you is a bed spread. I was looking for a bed spread. We bought um, some, we bought two iron beds from the original bed company, that's the name, yeah, for our small and big bedroom. And I was looking for a very nice bed spread that is a bit more, well, that ha it, it isn't vintage, but has a vintage feel to it. That's the one. This is from a Danish brand called E.B. Larsen. E.B. Larsen, it's a bit difficult to pronounce, I'm not sure, but I really like it. It goes so nicely with a, the with a bed and I mean, you see that the walls are still white and we're going to have the nicest twelve wallpaper in here. And at the moment we are painting our little snark downstairs, but this room will be the next one to tackle and I can't wait because it will totally transform this room and it will look so romantic and this bedspread is perfect for the room. I really like it. Great quality of course and check it out if you're looking for something similar. Some of you might have watched my Christmas gift guide for him and her and in one of my gift guides I introduced Slightly Foxed, 
The Slightly Foxed Podcast and The Slightly Foxed Magazine, a publishing house in London, which is beautiful. And it seems that they saw my video and just days before we left for Germany for the holidays, I received a little parcel and they sent me books. And it was a huge surprise and made me so happy and I took this book home with me. This is by Roald Dahl, one of the greatest children book writers. He wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the BFG. Well, I must admit I haven't read them, but he wrote two memoirs as well. And I received the second one and I couldn't stop reading. I loved it so, so much. So this one is called Going Solo. Roald Dahl left for East Africa just before the start of the Second World War and he wanted to work for Shell but ended up being a pilot fighter and he talks about this which is so interesting and I can highly recommend the book. And since I love this so, so much, this is a slightly foxed edition, I will get his first memoir, which is called Boy, which talks about his life from his birth until leaving school and focusing on the living conditions in Britain in the 1920s. And I bet that's interesting as well. And if you love reading memoirs, I must say, I just started reading memoirs. Jörg absolutely loves memoirs and um, not all of them are interesting, but this one is beautiful. And let me know if you read one of his children books. I would really love to know. Then last month, Jörg and I went to the UK brand Wittered, which um, there are shops throughout the country selling tea, hot chocolate and everything. And we bought the luxury white hot chocolate. This one. I just wanted to give it a try. And it couldn't be more perfect for the winter time. It's white chocolate. I never had it before, I have to say. And this one is so, so good. I just drank it with milk, no cream or anything that would be too much or too rich. And if you don't have Witted in your country, I bet some brand will sell white hot chocolate. Do give it a try. I like it so much better than a dark hot chocolate. This is amazing, especially if you drink it and read a nice book. It's wonderful. My next thing is a foundation and this is like, I bet so many of you are the same. It's like being on a constant struggle, finding the right foundation and, and getting older also means that you have to, well, change things and the skin gets drier and the foundations are too heavy and yeah, I, so last month I got the Shiseido foundation. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Glow Luminizing Foundation. Bit of a complicated name if you ask me. The lid broke so ignore that. But this foundation is wonderful. It's very lightweight, yet gives you very good coverage. Leaves a wonderful dewy finish and is still long lasting. And we, we don't want to, like when you reach your 40s, you simply can't wear very heavy makeup, can you? And this one won't settle into lines or wrinkles at all. And I'm wearing the shade Rose 2, which is great for fair skin. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I'm on the fair side. So it's not always easy to find the right foundation for fair skin. I absolutely love it. It's so, I don't know, you can't even feel it. It's my 
favourite foundation so far and I'm so glad that I found it. It's beautiful. I don't know if you watch any makeup YouTubers. I have to say the only person I really watch religiously is Lisa Eldridge. She's a UK makeup artist, has been around for many years, is about the same age as me and not only do I love her personality, she, her channel is amazing. She also has celebrities on her channel and talks to them while doing their makeup but not like James Charles who is very, very loud in her very calming way. Her tips are great and I think every year she brings out her own lipstick collection. So last December I was lucky enough to get hold of her, one of her lipsticks. It's um, from the True Velvet collection. It was sold out like immediately and I got, let me check, I have to check the name. This is Velvet Myth. It's a mulberry shade. It's a bit dark so not for, I wouldn't wear it um, throughout the day. It's more of an evening thing when you go out and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and um, I will, I think this shade is sold out at the moment but there are other shades available still available and I can highly recommend it. It's very good quality, very very pigmented and I don't know, she is just the kind of person I trust, if that makes sense. She, I don't have the impression that she wants to sell something really badly. I just love her and adore her and um, in case you haven't checked her out yet I will put the link down below and can highly recommend to subscribe to her channel. So I hope you like this video. This week will be interesting because I will be putting up two videos. Jörg and I went to the Shropshire Hills yesterday which was amazing and I will put up that video on a Thursday or Friday this week. Then uh, we will be filming the style video this coming weekend. Fingers crossed the weather is okay. And uh, yeah, it's wonderful. I really enjoy making videos and live all the exchange with you and get tips from you. It's a beautiful community that I really, really cherish and I just want you to know. And I'll see you again this week. So take care. Bye.